In this video, we'd like to introduce you to a new feature inside of Kipware-T, which is our sub-spindle programming conversational module. So in addition to the standard Kipware-T menus and the C-axis live tooling menus, along with the Y-axis live tooling menus, we'll now be including our sub-spindle programming options. And again, you can do sub-spindle operations using a conversational or fill-in-the-blank forms. So we'll start a little example. We're going to look at the Live Tool settings that we've expanded now to include on the right-hand side of the screen uh, user configurable M codes and letter addresses for the subspindle. So we go everywhere from uh, what is the letter address for the subspindle to uh, open and close chuck commands, uh, spindle on and off, uh, speed command, letter address, uh, subspindle mode, synchronization, cutoff check, and then even uh, the user can define the subspindle uh, zero return or return to home command. So once the settings are set up by the user, these will be used automatically in the uh, program creation uh, by Kipware-T. So you can see that we've got a couple of menus. One is uh, just attach the subspindle. One is to detach and return the subspindle. Uh, these are mostly done in conjunction with a cutoff. So what you would do is you would do the attach, uh, do the cutoff through the main uh, Kipware-T screen, then come back and do a detach, and then you can do a uh, complete transfer. So these are the three menu options available. Take a look at the uh, subspindle transfer. So let's say we're taking a part uh, out of the main spindle, putting it into the subspindle. Uh, you can select either the spindle is running or the spindle's off. Uh, let's say this uh, we're going to select the spindle is running at 400 RPM. Uh, we're looking for the b-axis coordinate of point number one, so let's call it uh, minus 15 inches. Uh, then we're going to feed another inch onto the part. Uh, the final traverse feed rate, let's call it 10 inches a minute. And then you can also select to add notes to the g-code. So uh, if I select this, what will happen is we'll get some comments uh, telling you each step of the way of what the subspindle is doing. So if I go and I create the program, uh, it gets added to the tree. And then what I can do is if I look at the g-code, you can see that uh, we've got the complete cycle done from that fill-in-the-blank form. Uh, and we've got comments in there telling us what's happening. So uh, first we're going to return uh, the Z, the uh, subspindle to zero return. Uh, we're going to start the main spindle, going to turn the subspindle mode on. Uh, we're going to sync the two spindles and then turn the subspindle on. Open the subspindle chuck. Uh, get onto the part. Close the chuck on the subspindle. Open the chuck on the main spindle. Uh, dwells in between. User can define that dwell uh, how many seconds. And then return back to that initial clearance point and then return home and then shut everything down. So we're doing all this automatically with the fill in the blank form and then with the setup that's done through the live tool settings. To take things a step further, uh, I'm going to give you an example of how we would do a cutoff using the conversational screens and the subspindle programming. So uh, we can do anything we want in the tree, so maybe rough turn the part, finish turn the part, whatever we need to do. All we're going to do in this little example is uh, attach the subspindle, cut the part off, and then detach and return home. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, subspindle attach cycle. Uh, we're going to do it with the spindle running, uh, let's say 500 RPM. We're going to use those same points that we just used, so minus 15 for clearance and then minus 16 to go on the part, uh, 10 inches a minute, and dwell time of one second, and then we're going to create the program. So all this uh, attach cycle is going to do is come in and attach, clamp the subspindle to the, to the uh, existing part in the main spindle, and then we'll go back, we'll cut it off, and then we'll return it. So uh, we're going to create the program here, so the subspindle now is attached. Uh, we're going to shut the subspindle menu off and go into the standard Kipware T grooving menu. And we're going to call it a cutoff cycle. Uh, let's just put some coordinates in here. Backage of the groove, let's call it uh, minus 2 inches. Uh, let's call the groove uh, 200 wide with a 1 8 grooving tool, uh, 20,000 step over. Uh, let's say the part diameter is uh, inch and 3 quarters. The groove diameter is uh, inch and a half. Well, actually we're going to cut it off, so we'll get groove diameter would be zero. Uh, 50 thousandths clearance, no finish amount. Uh, we need some speeds and feeds, so we'll go to the wizard here and we'll call it aluminum. 
Uh, we're going to tell it that it's a cutoff cycle, calculate the speeds and feeds, and put them into the program, and then create the program. So what we've done is we've attached the subspindle, we've grooved it, and basically cut it off. So now what we're going to do is go back to the subspindle menu and do a detach. Uh, we're going to do the spindle running again, uh, 500 RPM. Uh, we're going to call this the minus 15, which is our clearance point to begin with, and then create the program. So now I've got all the cycles created for this little operation where we're going to attach the subspindle, cut off the part, and then detach and return to home. Uh, so I can create a main program. We'll call it operation number one. Uh, we'll call it tool number one. Uh, I'm going to park the spindle at three inches in X and minus one inch in Z. And then I'm going to attach the subspindle, do the groove, and then detach the subspindle. Uh, I've got a program number and create G code. So you can see everything is done here. Uh, what happens is we've got the subspindle zero return. This is basically bringing these blocks of code are basically bringing the subspindle onto the part. This is the attach cycle. And then we're grooving the part. And then we've got the subspindle detach. So everything is done for us uh, through the conversational screens. We've attached it, cut it off, and then uh, detached it and returned the subspindle to home. So this is a new feature inside of Kipware T, the subspindle conversational programming module.